Come to us, you who say, I will not forget you. Be with us, you who say, do not be afraid. Take hold of us, our hearts, our minds, our whole beings. Make us your own. Now is the time. Spirit of love, crush the pain of hatred. Spirit of hope, stand before us. Spirit of light, transmit in our darkness, make us your own, now is the time. Come to us, you who say, I will not forget you. Be with us, you who say, do not be afraid. Take hold of us, our hearts, our minds, our whole being. Make us your own, now is the time. Spirit of peace, silence tongues of anger, spirit of life, break the chains of death, spirit of joy, overcome our sadness, make us your own, now is the time, come to us you who say, I will not forget you, be with us you who say, do not be afraid, take hold In the name of the Father, Amen. and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, as we gather to hear God's Word and celebrate the Eucharist on this Trinity Sunday, let us give thanks for the perfect love of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. And let's resolve to reflect the love of God in our daily lives. Lord Jesus, you raise us to new life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgive us our sins. Christ, have mercy. Christ, Christ have, have mercy. mercy. Lord Jesus, you feed us with your body and blood. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Let us praise God together. Glory, Glory to, to God, God in the highest, and, and on earth peace to the people of goodwill. Good we praise you, you, we bless you, we adore you, you we glorify you. We, we give you thanks for your great glory. glory. Lord God, God, heavenly King, O oh God, God, Almighty Father, Father Lord, Lord Jesus Christ, Christ only begotten Son, Lord God, God Lamb of God, God Son of the Father, Father you take, you take away, away the sins of the world, world. Have, have mercy on us. You take, take away the sins of the world, world. receive our prayer. You, you are seated at the right, right hand of the Father, have, have mercy, mercy on, on us. For you, you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. God, our Father, who by sending into the world the word of truth and the spirit of sanctification made known to the human race your wondrous mystery, grant us, we pray, that in professing the true faith, we may acknowledge the trinity of eternal glory and adore your unity, powerful in majesty. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Let us now listen to the Word of God as it is proclaimed to us. A reading from the book of Exodus. Moses rose early in the morning and went up on Mount Sinai, as the Lord had commanded him, and took in his hand the two tablets of stone. The Lord descended in the cloud and stood with him there and proclaimed the name the Lord. The Lord passed before Moses 
and proclaimed, The Lord, the Lord, a God merciful and gracious, slow to anger and abounding in steadfast love and faithfulness. And Moses quickly bowed his head towards the earth and worshipped. He said, If now I have found favor in your sight, O Lord, I pray, let the Lord go with us. Although this is a stiff-necked people, pardon our iniquity and our sin and take us for your inheritance. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. Blessed are you, O Lord, God of our fathers, and blessed is your glorious and holy name. Glory and praise forever, glory and praise forever. Blessed are you in the temple of your holy glory. And to be extolled and highly glorified forever. Glory and praise forever. Glory and praise forever. Blessed are you on the throne of your kingdom and to be extolled and highly exalted forever. Glory and praise forever. Glory and praise forever. A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, put things in order, listen to my appeal, agree with one another, live in peace. And the God of love and peace will be with you. Greet one another with a holy kiss. All the saints greet you. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. Hallelujah. Speak, Lord, we are listening. The Lord be with you. And, and with, your, with spirit. your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory, Glory to, to you, o Lord. Lord. Jesus said to Nicodemus, God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, so that everyone who believes in him may not perish, but may have eternal life. Indeed, God did not send the Son into the world to condemn the world, but in order that the world might be saved through him. The one who believes in him is not condemned, but the one who does not believe is condemned already for not having believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. Trinity Sunday is a wonderful occasion for all of us to reflect on the nature of God and who we believe God to be. One God in three persons, indivisible, all-holy, almighty, immortal, glorious in majesty, ever to be worshipped and adored. And the list goes on. There are many, many more words we could use to describe the mystery of God. But all we really need to say are the words we use when we make, when we make the sign of the cross. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. And we use those terms not just because they're biblical, 
but because they express our personal experience of God's love and action in our lives. We know, as did the first disciples, that we have a Father in heaven who created us in his own image and likeness. We know that his only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, came down from heaven to share our life and to suffer, die, and rise again so that we could be saved from sin and death. And we know that the Holy Spirit is present among us and continues to guide and enlighten the church with his wisdom. And like the first disciples, we know that God is one because God is love and love cannot be divided. The readings for today's feast really speak to that. In Exodus, we hear the voice of God and the words he uses to describe himself are merciful and gracious, slow to anger and abounding in steadfast love and faithfulness. Throughout the Old Testament, we see that God is love because he never forgets or abandons his people. And no matter how often they turn away from him, he never tires of leading them back to his heart. In the New Testament, St. Paul refers to the God of love and peace. And the gospel reminds us of how much God loves the world. This is the God we believe in as Christians. And when we pray to him, we feel the warmth of his infinite and unconditional love. The early Christians came to understand God as the Blessed Trinity because they experienced the love of God in their lives and they recognized how God was present and active in the world. After 2,000 years, our belief and experience hasn't changed. We still see Jesus as the revelation of God's love and we experience God present among us, guiding us, with his mercy and love. We do not worship a God of anger and vengeance, but a God whose love is so great that it creates and redeems and sanctifies. Yes, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, one God in three persons, Holy Trinity. But this feast is not just about making a profession of faith because if we confess that God is love, then as believers, we need to reflect the love of God in our own lives, in our actions, and in our words. Just as the Father, Son, and Spirit live forever united in perfect love, so must we, as God's children and disciples of Jesus, live with one another in peace and harmony. We live in a world that is full of hatred and division. And this can sometimes be seen even in the church and in our families. As true believers who want to live as God lives, we have to set aside all feelings of anger, violence, jealousy, or rancor. Most especially as a community of believers, we need to love as God loves so that our bonds may never be broken. St. Paul exhorts us to agree with one another, to live in peace, and to greet one another with a holy kiss. Just as the Trinity can never be divided, we too must strive to strengthen our bonds of unity and fellowship. As Christians, we should reflect the love of God in our world by loving all people with mercy and compassion. While we journey on this earth, we may never fully understand the mystery of the Trinity, but we can dedicate ourselves to live in love of God and neighbor so that we will have the hope of dwelling one day in perfect love when we see our God, the blessed Trinity, face to face. Together now, let us make our profession of faith. I believe in God, the Father, Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, 
was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Father, one God in three persons, so filled with your love, we confidently ask you to hear and answer our prayers. For the Holy Church of God, revealed through the Trinity, never let us forget you or salvation you have given us. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For the people of God, striving to embody the love of the Trinity, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That all baptized in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit may be united in love and service. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For the sick and the infirm, separated from their parish communities, who join us today, that their Mass, that this Mass celebrated for them will bring comfort and joy. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Let us take a few moments and offer our own petitions. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Lord God, you have shown yourself to us as Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. We pray knowing that all goodness and truth is in you through Jesus, your Son, who lives forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Having listened to God's word, let us now celebrate his supper in joy and thanksgiving. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God, God forever. forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the <coughs> Almighty Father. May the Lord, Lord accept, accept the sacrifice at your hands, hands for the praise, praise and glory of his name, for our, our good and the good, good of all his, his church. holy church. Sanctify by the invocation of your name, we pray, O Lord our God, this oblation of our service, and by it make of us an eternal offering to you, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with your, your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift, we lift them up, up to, to the Lord. Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, it is right, right and just. just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to mm. give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For with your only begotten Son and the Holy Spirit, you are one God, one Lord, not in the unity of a single person, but in a trinity of one substance. For what you have revealed to us of your glory, we believe equally of your Son and of the Holy Spirit, so that in the confessing of the true and eternal Godhead, you might be adored in what is proper to each person, their unity in substance and their equality in majesty. For this is praised by angels and archangels, cherubim too and seraphim, who never cease to cry out each day, as with one voice they acclaim, Holy, 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 Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest.
You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we, we eat, eat this bread and, and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Thomas, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, 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 hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on, on earth, earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And, and lead us, us not, not into, into temptation, temptation but, but deliver, deliver us from, from evil. evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the, the kingdom, kingdom, the power, power and, and the glory are yours, now, now and, and forever. forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who sent your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. My dear friends, let us now offer peace in our hearts and in our minds to those who may need God's peace. In the silence of our hearts, let's offer them our forgiveness and our peace in his name. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but, but only say the word and my soul, soul shall be healed. Be healed. Let us pray. May receiving this sacrament, O Lord our God, bring us health of body and soul as we confess your eternal holy trinity and undivided unity. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with, with your spirit. spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, Father and, and the, the Son, and, and the, the Holy Spirit. spirit. Amen. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be, be to, to God. God. Done great things for me, and his mercy will reach from age to age and holy, holy, holy. Is he. Good morning, and thank you for celebrating with us on this Sunday morning. A special word of thanks to Father Ernie DiCiccio. Father Ernie is the pastor of St. David's Parish in Maple, Ontario. I want to thank you as well for your many, many letters of encouragement and your financial support that makes the Mass possible. I'd ask you during this week maybe to take a few minutes aside and pray for vocations to the priesthood and religious life. Until next week at this time, God bless you. Keep us in your prayers. Take care. He remembers his prayer.